Um, Marty. Did you count? 67 seconds. I have it right here. One minute and 28 seconds. I said a minute and a half. Yeah, he did say a minute and a half. Maybe. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Let's keep going because my back is starting. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, Grace, let's like say hi to a few people. Can yeah, so um, first off, we have the Jenny family saying hello. Hey, Amanda. I was just with her at 189 and she wanted to like say hi hello. Hi, everybody at their Jenny At 189. Hi, everybody. All right. They're all, uh, everybody was going to watch you tonight, Mom. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I, I'm all right. going to come in. At least my hair is cold. <laughs> <laughs> at least she's not looking like this. Okay. Listen, we're going to do a major transformation. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay. Before we begin, however. Can I tell you four things I love? Oh, my God. Wait. As we're going, you can't. Well, no, I, Jeez, I, I Mom, to, don't you You're not going to do the facial. I mean, I love the charcoal mask. Yes. I love the brush. Okay. I love like the foundation the eye. brush? Yeah, that brush. Okay. Right okay. And I love the eye cream. Oh, that is so soothing Jeez. and it's so gentle. I love that. I love the other um, face wash. You like the vitamin C, don't you? I do like the vitamin C, but I have to be very cautious about putting that on. Why? Well, I can't put it on every day. Yeah, not, most I, people can't. I can't put it on every day. Yeah, it's but sort of yeah. like the overnight resurfacing peel. The overnight resurfacing peel. Okay, so before I get going, okay. Can there, you do that's the, the, Can you do a intro because we're going to be posting this on YouTube and no, we've missed the first half an no, hour. No, just just follow me, follow me. Like get sucked up in the drama. Okay. It'll be fine, Mark. It'll be fine. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> what I'm going to tell you is that. Marty, this is not, like, what does he think? This is the instigators? What the hell is happening here? This is our, our <laughs> people. Wait, what's oh, going on? Yeah. I got this shit, I got this shit. Okay, I love you. so, anyways, what I was going to say is there is a, tonight is not about sales. I really don't care. Like, you guys, use what you can. I, I just want to show you what makeup looks like on her skin. Sometimes I get, like, oh, your makeup's really pretty, but I can never do that. I'm telling you. It's easy, and I'm gonna show you tonight what it is. Um, even though my mom has beautiful skin, at 73, her skin is considered mature, so it definitely looks different. And so I wanna show you how to how to enhance your skin as much as you can. That's There's true. different things you can't use, you, powders, things like that, that you gotta be a little bit more cautious with. Moisturize a little differently. So all of those things, I wanna show you the products, but before we do that, I wanna break the ice just a little bit. Can we break the ice just a little bit? All right. What are you going to do? Um, Grace, can we break the ice just a little bit? Okay, so if you didn't see that earlier, you know my mom's not a big drinker. I'm not either. But we're going we're gonna to do a little something fun. What is this? This is called a tequila shot. A calorie-free, remember? I can have a little too much. Susie, I'm somewhere still. I'm, I'm not having this. And no, I'm you not. have to. That's part of it. So pick up your lime. No, I don't want that. You have to. Mom, you have to. Now this is what you do. This is gonna freak the shit right out of my mother. All right, you have to lick your wrist. Lick it or I'm gonna do it. Okay, lick it, then come here. Well, I don't wanna. Okay, then you gotta put salt on it. So do that. <laughs> this is painful. I know, it's trying so fun. Okay. That's not enough. Yeah, okay, you gotta want salt. Okay, I hope Poppy's watching this, where's Pops? Okay. So this is, do you have, so this is how you do it. You lick, you drink, and you squeeze this in your mouth. Wrist? Yes. You gotta lick the salt. Okay, ready? Wait, no, we gotta cheers. Oh. All right, to mother-daughter fun. Giddy up. Okay. Okay, here we go, ready? Lick. I did it, lick. You gotta lick more. Lick it up. <laughs> drink.
gonna be an interesting okay. show. Let's do it. All right, mom, do you have moisturizer on? I, I just washed my face with that. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little eye cream on so that we really moisturize. It's always good, makeup always goes better. When we're talking about um, fighting wrinkles, promoting collagen building, all of those things. Moisturizing, drinking water, all of those things. I add a scoop of collagen powder to my coffee every single morning. We've talked about that. I'm collagen. gonna try, you're not past all of that. No, I, I said I'm past collagen. Oh, <laughs> she's not past anything. All right, a little bit of um, the Beauty Counter Day Cream, the anti-aging day cream. Oh, nice. Yeah, it is nice. And I always make sure that I go down my neck. I know you also do too, into your decollage, as you just mentioned. I do. About how some women put makeup there. Okay. Well, you get, when you're older, okay. you get more. I feel like that doesn't need any explanation, actually. Well, okay. that's true. Not okay, true. let's talk about matching foundation. Because I'm going to tell you what, the biggest mistake that any age woman does is not matching her foundation. Your foundation, so I wear a full face of foundation. You would never know I do because it's matched perfectly so that it blends and emollients into the skin, right? So I want to teach you guys a little trick. So if you're going, what are you doing over there? Hitting right. things. Okay, so I am going to grab a couple different colors here. Obviously, as a, as a consultant, I have a bunch of different shades, but I want to show you guys how I do this. Okay, I'm going to grab a really dark one over here. All right, so my mom is very fair, especially on her face. When you're going to get your foundation, can you zoom in a little bit? When you're going to get your foundation checked, okay, I'm gonna have you turn your cheek so, I'm, so that people can see. Is that better like this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I have three colors on my wrist here I wanna show you. So I put strips down of each of these colors on her skin. Um, hey, Ash, could you give me a, like a tissue? Okay, so then the thing is, is that's so funny because you would look at these colors and which one do you think you'd pick? This one. The lightest, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so similar to like when you're painting your walls, foundation dries as a very different color. So sometimes what it looks like on your hand or your wrist is a very different color than what's on your face. So you want to make sure the idea is to not have it look like it's makeup. Thank you, sweet angel. So the idea is to make it so it's not looking like a ton of makeup. So as you can see, I put these colors into my, into my mom's skin. And this is super interesting. So now I'm going to blend it out just a teeny bit. And as it dries, I check to see what matches her skin tone. Now, I know it's difficult on camera, but you will be able to see. So the darkest one that I wear because I spray tan my face, okay? So that actually is not too bad on her skin, the darkest one. No kidding. It wouldn't be what I would pick because it is just a little bit darker, but a lot lighter. The lightest one, okay, makes her look very, very washed out. As you, If you could see it up close, you would see that it looks very, very pale. That's actually Ash, uh, Emily's foundation when she shows her horses because she's super, super fair. Now this one right here in the middle is perfect. It blends into the skin and you would never know it was on. That's the color she needs because that's the color that disappears into her skin. All right, so that's the easiest way. So if you're in the mall and you, people are like, oh, let me try your foundation, you can do it yourself. Usually they're trying to sell you something. All right, so. You are liked 230. You're actually Gracie's color. All right, so then what I do with this foundation is I put, usually for me, I like three pumps. She'll like two. She likes it really, really light. And I do love this. For this foundation, I like to use a retractable brush. This one is great from Beauty Counter. It is fabulous. There is something about the way the bristles are, the, the bristles, <laughs> bristles. The bristles. Not Brussels sprouts, bristles. The way the bristles are set into this, easy for travel, but yet also the way it applies the foundation to your skin, it'll give you a light touch. Why are you laughing? Um, at me? because Amanda says, would you like to go get Applebee's? Um, uh, I can't do that right this second, but I do like their spinach artichoke dip. Just saying. Okay. Answer that. 
to answer that question. Anybody else? Nope, not yet. Who else is on? Let's say hi to some people. Um, well, Grandma Celine is on. Janice hey, is on. Hey, Janice. We have, um, let's see. I don't know. On Instagram, because I had to refresh it, doesn't show me everyone who's on. We have Kate on. Hey, Lori. I know Lori was on tonight. Yes. Um, okay, so when I'm doing foundation, another trip, tip and trick is always, always start in the center of your face and blend out because the center of your face is typically where you all have the most discoloration and unevenness. So you have typically around your nose, especially in allergy season, things like that, you have um, some discoloration. This color is beautiful. Where is that mirror? Because I want, do you want to see it as we go? No, no, no. Oh, it's a long see it I want you to see your foundation actually because I really do think it's beautiful. It's a really great color. This is the lightest. This is the one we need, 230. Um, it blends in beautifully to your skin and you can really see how it gives you a nice dewy finish. The, the thing that I like about this foundation is it's a buildable foundation. So you can add more to it as you go. So say it's, say um, like I'm going to work, whatever, I slap it on in the morning. I don't have to wash my face if I'm going out for a cocktail in the evening with my girlfriends. I don't have to wash my face. I just add a little bit more for a little bit more coverage. So that's a very nice thing. I so love that brush. it is. It's you know what it does. It really applies that um, sort of an airbrushed look. Where's Poppy? Down the basement. Oh, uh, you have to go and tell him, Ava. Go and tell him that Grandma did. It I showed him the video. Oh, he saw. And what did he say? He, he said, said, "Oh Lord." How many years have you been married, Poppy? We married fifty-two. But when did you meet Poppy? How old were you? I was fourteen. That's my age. Romantic movie <laughs> much? No pressure. So anyways, really quite the love story. However, he knows all of your good faults and bads, I'm sure. He thinks I'm the only good call. Oh, is that what you would say? You think so? Mm. Interesting. Debatable. All right, so that's your foundation, and I feel like that's great. It really, really looks just like a second skin and just kind of takes the unevenness out of your skin, and that's exactly what you want your foundation to do. All right, next up, you guys, I'm gonna show you a trick for concealer. This is kind of new because typically, in the last few years, foundation has been apply it as a triangle. It's always how I did it. Like almost, I, I know that I have said on videos, apply it as, as though you're a jack-o'-lantern. Like under here, you wanna go up under and highlight the top of the cheekbones. The problem with that is when you're over 40, None of them work so good because you have extra skin. And so it settles and fine lines and wrinkles and it doesn't really lift your face. Mm -hmm. And we want to naturally like lift our face. So I am going to say, let's see, what do we have here? I have here, this is the Skin Twin Foundation. I'm going to say you're probably this one, Grandma, you're probably fair too. So there's a lot of new colors for the foundation. I know you guys have loved the clicky pen that used to be, but the, the, the clicky pen concealer. Grace loves that clicky pen concealer. However, I feel this is better, and, I, and especially for, for aging. You're, you're so young, she's like covering like a singular dot on her beautiful little tiny face. For somebody who's cut, trying to cover a little bit more on their skin, it, it holds the color longer on your skin, and I think that's what I like about it. I can wear it all day to work, and I still look exactly the same as is when I'm leaving. Um, we have another question, sure. and this one's kind of important. Where can we see the Beauty Counter products? Yeah, absolutely. Well, always, always, you can reach out to me because I'm happy to answer questions. I know it's confusing, and I don't want you to spend mm -hmm. money on things. There are certain things that I don't like um, or that I can find better. But truly, truly, there are products ride or die that I love, so you can always reach out to me, DM, and I can help you out. There is a sale going on, you can get some free stuff going on right now, so I can help you save a little bit of money that way. Or in my bio on Facebook or Instagram, however you're joining, there's something called a link tree, and it'll link you right to, be, right to beauty counter. So if there's certain products that you're like, oh, I love the way that worked, like the foundation, things like that. The foundation and the concealer, I will tell you, are some of the best sellers. All right, so let me show you this trick for um, how I'm applying my concealer these days. So what you're gonna wanna do is women tend to hold darkness in the corners of their eyes. 
So we're going to apply a little bit in the corner of the eyes. We're going to apply it up onto the top of the cheekbone up in here in just a singular dot right down there. And the reason being is because you want to lift the face. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Into the corner of the eye, a little bit on the dot, and then we're, we're going to accent her cheekbones going right up along there. Now I find, everybody has a different technique with this. I like to apply the concealer with my skin, or skin on skin meaning, because I feel like the heat of my hand tends to um, kind of work it into the skin a little bit better so you get a little bit more of a flush. Flawless, flawless finish. That was a little bit of a tongue twister. So I always use my ring finger because it's a gentle touch and I just kind of work that down. I'm just kind of gonna turn your face like this so people can see. So I, I work it down along the tip of her nose. I'm not big on heavily, what is that called? Contouring. I know that's a, I know that's a thing right now. It's not attractive. Nobody looks real. It just is too much makeup for me. Um, I want to accent my good qualities, you know? My eyes tend to be a little bit inset and a little smaller. My lips are bigger and I want to accent those. So I pull out my cheeks and my thing. Here I try to uplift those things because um, that's where I need a little bit of help. My mom has great, great cheekbones, so I'm just accenting them highlighting up on the top of her skin. You do. What do you mean? Why are you saying mom? I've never considered that a, a feature. Really? Mm -mm. What would you consider a feature? Jeez, I don't know. I get up in the morning. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that is a feature. Okay. We have, can I get a cute bow hat in man style from Rocky? Um, yes, you can. You can shop my Instagram account and you can go right on there and buy them. It will be coming off. Oh, she's going to model it up. She's going to do that with her hair. Just I like that. Bit. All right, so now she has her concealer on. You can see that we highlighted the highlights of her cheeks. I mean, she really, I wish you guys could see her skin because at 73, seriously, I hope to God that I look like that. She has very little wrinkles. She really, really does. Her skin is you're tight. Her and skin I'm is tight. Her, but I, there's not a ray that hits my face. Oh, snap. Jesus. I'm telling you, there isn't. M Mom, have a little bit more of your tequila. Why? Because I think it's fun. I'm not licking my wrist again ever in my whole life. In my whole life. You gotta lick it no. and then you sip it. It's so unsanitary. <laughs> it's your own spit. Mm -mm. Jesus. Okay. I'm never doing that again. Okay. So all, right. all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you know what's so funny about I'll her? I'll be up at night thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, my Oh my God, you are not. All right, so I have to get my other stuff. Okay, now we're going to move in to a little bit of um, mattifying powder. So the mattifying powder, did Dad just give you like a whole bunch of like sign language? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it's secret, secret. Are you not allowed to speak? If you know you're here, it's not. He's eating. Oh, yeah. It's a secret cameraman, you know, okay. sign language. You guys, I love this brush. It's also linked, linked on my link tree. It has a teeny tiny, it's the It Cosmetics brush. It's not beauty counter, but it's an It Cosmetics brush, double sided. So I love, love, love that. And this is the mattifying powder from Beauty Counter. I love this because if you don't set your makeup during the day, then you're going to actually have it rub off. So I do not like that. As you're talking on the phone, as you're doing things, as you're gardening. Now see, before I put that, I would do blush. Don't you do blush first? I don't. I set my foundation only where the rule of thumb with concealer and setting your makeup is you want to set it where you put your concealer. Do you disagree with me? I never really gave it. I just put my blush on before I would do anything. But you don't wear foundation typically either. Yes, I do. You just sold it to me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I must have been low on numbers that month. <laughs> no, it's good. What color did you get? Do you know? Mm, no. Did I you just go through all this? Yeah, you gave me. I think I guessed. 
Yeah. But it works out good. Oh, does it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea what it is. Okay, so let me ask you this. Was Dad a hottie in high school? Oh my god. No. What? <laughs> He's listening downstairs. I know he is! That's what I'm going to drive home with him. Be telling well, Lana, you're going to have to get a judge and probably get a pull over. No, I don't. Not on YouTube, mm -hmm. crazies. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mom, I can totally remember. I'm going to share this. What she said she was going to share embarrassing stories about me. There's not that many. I was a good girl. And you have. When before she got married, she was wonderful. She got married and she sort of flipped out. There you go. That's not Good job, true. Dev. I was trying to make my husband happy. Oh. What do you mean I flipped out? Well, oh, all right. I'll give you one story. You tried to you tried to smoke, and I was very I got. I wasn't smoking. married yet. I wasn't married. No, I know. Yet. I wasn't married. All right. This you said. Should I share a story? Yes, I will. Story. And. She was driving to Rochester to see Marty, and she hit, I found cigarettes in her car. I was, I, I went through a phase. All right, so now I was very upset, and I had a little teeny dog, <laughs> and I said, you know what, I'm going to teach her a lesson, and she will never smoke again. And when she pulls out this pack of cigarettes, it's going to smell like... Dog shit. Dog doodle. So she didn't want me to just, like, imagine it would smell like dog shit? Yeah. yeah. It's sort of like when you take your child back to the store after they stole something and they have to talk to the clerk. It's called, what do they call it, hard love? I don't know, Mom. I don't know. I've never stolen my entire life. No, I know that, but I'm saying, i got to tell you a cute story. Well, finish this one. All right, so anyway, so I put dog doodle in her cigarettes. You know what? And she didn't smoke after that. I'm going to tell you my side of the story. Oh. So I used to... Marty was playing in Rochester. I used to get him through a. Once I got him through a, I kept my cigarettes very sneaky in my Chevy Cavalier in my glove compartment. I and I would reach over into my glove compartment and grab one and pull it out. Now, she hated it. Marty hated it. They clearly tried to rig that shit. And you know what? That was really neat. So, I got on the throughway, and if you've ever gone toward Rochester, the distance between exits from Buffalo to Pembroke, you're talking about a good 15 minutes. Got in, reached in, had dog doodle on my hands for a good 12 minutes. I was like, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Now, I'll tell you, when I reached in, I thought it was a mouse in my pack of cigarettes. No, she's fine. What? Nothing. Oh. I think I was drooling or something. Oh, no, you had powder on your chin. Oh. But I would have blown I'm putting bronzer on, by the way. Bronzer. Yeah, you're having some what? fun comments. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. I can't tell you how many customers came in this morning and were like, we can't wait to hear all the dirty secrets about you from your mother. She was a very good daughter all the way through. I cannot, that smoking business, I did not approve of. So we had to. Nip that in the bud. And we did. I was like an angel, basically. Let's make it crazy. I was basically an angel. Marty? Mm. Angel? Yes. Uh, oh, he's scared to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. What do I always say, ladies? Control your men. And train, train them. them. <laughs> it's good advice. Oh, okay. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I, I have failed as a father right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have succeeded as a mother. Okay, you guys, I'm going to tell you my favorite blush out of all of them. Don't even waste your time. Nectar. Nectar is where, Wait, where let me it's see at. It. That's your favorite? I like yeah. the darker one. I like the darker one. one? I'm sorry, this is not I don't wear blush. Oh my gosh, Grace. Nectar is so beautiful. Much. I'm telling you, it's so peachy and pretty. Now, I applied bronzer as my mom was sharing that embarrassing story about when I was uh, having cigarettes. I'm going to tell you the story about the first time I ever got drunk. You don't know it. Oh, please don't tell me. I don't really want Nikki to Zupa, I hope you're watching because I'm going to share it with her. Nikki Zupa, I can tell you a lot of stories too. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God. I can share that story. Anyways, when we do bronzer, it's really important that you keep it on the top face at the top portions of your cheeks because it really, really will lift. So you want to keep it under your cheekbone and lift. It's not rocket science. I do a three. I go. 
just like that? Do you make that noise too when you put it on? Sometimes I do, Grace, if I need to pick me up. Don't be judgy. Um, Amanda says that you would, they would like to hear more stories along the way. <laughs> I, I bet she would. drink more tequila. God, I have another little no, you should have a, You should have a drink word. <laughs> One more sip. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm doing really well. Now. Okay, she says. Oh my God. The time it's taking for her to finish that little glass is going to be the time it takes for you to finish your drink. You have to acquire a taste. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe Maria. I hope Don and Beth are watching. I could tell some stories about them too. They were bad. I was good. They were 14 months apart and they were making me nuts. Oh my God. Well, so I am eight and nine years younger than my sisters. Yes. Why don't you tell that story? Did you expect me? No. Okay, blush. Mm -hmm. Applying that dirt. The doctor told me I could never have any more children after Beth. Right. So Poppy and I went on vacation with the girls. Oh. And yeah. Nine months he later, he yeah. on a cruise with the girls, and he says, "Oh, here." And I said, "Oh my God, I gotta sit at the back of the boat, and I gotta hang my head over. I'm so sick." And he goes, Geez, "What did you think was happening? Like, oh my I God, thought I, it was he had some." That would be like if I got pregnant now. Oh. Everybody say, you can't. Just one, All right, one so, small prayer. All right, so anyway, so I we came home from vacation after we were in Martha's Vineyards actually, and uh, we went on a cruise. We went here, there, and everywhere, and I was miserable, sick, sick, sick. Went to the doctors. Way to go, Pop. And Pop, there were no cell phones at the time, so um, I went to the doctors. And the doctor said to me, well, we have to do a few tests. And I said, okay. And so we came back and he goes, Mrs. Brady, you're not sick, you're pregnant. Did you want to die? No. I, oh my no. God, that's like, horrible. Not die, like really die, but like, were you like, I was so what? Sick. I was so sick, I'm thinking, I don't know, but I ha it was on Bailey. But it was a blessing. Yes, you were. And I, we, I was, went down, it was on Bailey Avenue in Buffalo at the doctor's office. I drove down towards, I think it was uh, Millersburg Highway, and there was a, a telephone booth, and I called Poppy. Your dad. Oh my God, can you, you imagine dad? getting that phone call? And I said, honey, I'm not sick, but I am pregnant. Hmm. And my distance home was longer than his distance to get home from work. Oh my God. He was there waiting for me. I bet he was. He was like, no. I am really super close with my dad. Like, I've always been very, very close with my dad. I'm very close with both of them because there was such an age difference between God and Beth that I was, and I was always kind of like a homebody. I, I am still, I like to be home, and I was always with you guys probably more than I should have been as a normal teenager, but I really was with you guys quite a bit. And I, I liked it. Like, that's where I like to be. Kind of like my girls, my girls are all, and Jacob are always with me. But it is kind of funny that, you know, Sometimes blessing She happen. never had one mother. She had three. She yeah. had Dawn, she had Beth, and she had me. It was never dirty or unfed. Weird. Or, uh, Strange. Her bedroom was absolutely a joy. 40 years later. Marty, do you think that's weird <coughs> that that turned out that way? No. 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 It's not weird. All right, so we'll see. All right, we're going to do your eyebrows. That's enough stories for now. Sorry. Now, listen, she doesn't do her eyebrows, and it's a real yes, I do. I do. Mom, you don't do them very often. Okay, well, I don't do them, like, professionally. I just... Do you make that noise as you do it? No. I know where she gets it from. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. And I know I've shared this story one million times about how I got my eyebrows done, so I won't, I'll spare you the story, but I'm just going to tell you... I went to a really famous eyebrow waxer because I felt like that would change my whole universe. Anyways, three points. A, oh my gosh. why is it doing that? Um, because the things are Grace. Coming, coming out. I'm sorry, don't worry. Okay, look at, look at the camera, Mom. Okay, so you have A, B, C. It's not that hard. You can do this at home. Okay, so as you age, naturally, your eyebrows lighten. It just it happens, and you don't regrow what you waxed off at one point. So what you want to do is you want to line it up from the corner of your eye. Naturally, eyebrows should be from the corner of your eye, from the inside corner, and also from the outside corner, okay? So from here, we're going to do the same thing for you. We're going to inside corner it, 
I start at the bottom inside corner and I'm just gonna use feather like strokes. Now what I love, love about this pencil, always make sure it's sharp, number one tip. Also, I love that there's the little brush on hand because I'm gonna tell you what, listen ladies, some of you are over penciling your eyebrows. Stop doing that. It's a bad thing. It doesn't look pretty. Stop doing it. You have to make it look why? It's true. It's like, it's like my rug. Stop doing that. It's Stop. so horrible. It ages you so much. Don't do that. Make sure it's feather like, gentle hair like. We want it to look like a hair. So you want it to be very, very gentle. And we want it to continue past your brow just a teeny tiny bit. And then, this is the killer part the brush at the end. You want to brush that into your eyebrow and just kind of feather it out. Okay. Now, I know it's difficult to see on here. Gracie, take a picture so people can see and maybe you can post it at some point. But the, the difference in her skin and, and um, the way it looks lifted, it's so much more lifted because you are framing your face. So it's super important. Did you get a good one? I think so. Can you post that or you can't post that? I can't post it, but I post will Post it in the stories. Can you do that? I have, yeah, afterwards. I will. All right. Here we have a good one. Okay, sounds good. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I started that inside A point and run it up. I no longer smoke. I want everybody to know. It was like a oh brief, like six months period of time. <laughs> Too long. The one bad thing I did in all my life. Oh, yeah, one bad thing. Well, she, when she was a queen. Oh, my God. What the hell? We were we were talking to her because we wanted to hear the stories beforehand, and she said, "Honest to God, that child never gave me a hard day in my life." And I was like, "I was a really good girl. I got good grades." Well, aren't you just Miss Perfection? <laughs> oh my God, we won't be able to talk to her, Grace. Wow. I get it. I get it. I love you. Mm -hmm. Marty, do you have any stories? No. Oh, Marty's got more stories than a book. <laughs> I'm not sure that's true. I'm positive no. it's true. I'm positive. Mm. Okay. I can tell you a funny story about Marty. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. The one time Who wants to hear a funny story Mar about Marty? Marty came into our house, and he was all dressed to go to a hockey game because he was called he up. He was, to like, trying to be, like, all, like... Well, he was all dressed. He had this gorgeous suit on. And we were here with spaghetti, and we had everyone over. Uh, her older sisters were married at the time, and I mean, the kitchen was like fun and happy, but there was a lot of spaghetti. So he walks in with this gorgeous. It was your very suit. first Hugo Boss do it in town. I yeah, remember it. it was gorgeous. He was so excited about it. I said to him, You stand over by the wall. Oh my god, I don't But know I also, straight. it was I could stand by the wall, but I was not allowed to touch the wall. <laughs> <laughs> or That's walk on the carpet. Or walk on the carpet. So it's stay so in that four that. square feet of space that you have over there. Okay, so I'll tell a funny story. Come on, I'm gonna, let's turn this around. Let's talk about Marty. That's so much more fun. <laughs> okay, so I have a funny Marty story while I'm putting your mascara on. You guys, this mascara, okay, this is where I'm going to be honest. The Beauty Counter Mascara, not my favorite. I love this one. A little more pricey. You're talking about mm, 40 bucks. This is the um, Thrive Mascara. It does do a bomb job. It is a little more expensive. This one, I have been, I haven't posted it yet on my Amazon account because I was kind of waiting to see if I really, really loved it. But Grace and I have been playing with it. Oh, I'm gonna tell you, we both like it. It's a good one, and it's, I think it's six dollars and ninety nine cents. It's something like it's that. crazy, but it is good. It gives you that length. I I want to say I love the beauty counter one. I just I just don't. It's very good if you're going for like a natural eye look. It is, like, but I don't want that. Like you know, just yeah. But, but no coffee. Oh, are you having more tequila? No, I'm having. Did you put the tequila in the coffee? No. Have a little more tequila. Mom. No, it's right here. Have one little step. It doesn't go with coffee very well. All right, it's like coax it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's my Marty story. <laughs> so I asked Marty to my senior prom, which you guys all know because we did a whole thing. 
So we asked Marty to the senior prom. The only problem is, is he was like the 17th goalie at that time. What were you, Marty? Like the fifth goalie staying for the Sabres or something, right? So he had no place to live, basically, is what I'm saying. Don't talk about the neighbor. I'm talking to Oh my God, please don't talk about it. Oh my God, Mom, I wasn't even gonna bring that up. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, not talking about the neighbor. God bless you, Blair and Blood. Okay, moving on. Now, our next door neighbor, oh, not, the, not, okay. the, not the Smiths. That's the tequila talking about. No, oh. no, oversharing, oversharing. <laughs> okay, no, I was gonna say that Marty was allowed to sleep on the pull-up couch until prom, because I had asked him to my senior prom. The problem is, is that Poppy, had raised three girls, no boys in the house. So Marty came from a house, first of all, in Quebec City, different culture, not gonna lie. And in addition, Grandma Celine, isn't that true? She would say, it's true. Also, in addition to that, um, brothers, no sisters. So Marty, Poppy said, it's fine, you can sleep on the couch, keep your hands off my daughter, and go to bed at a reasonable time. So of course, Marty would like, I, Marty and I would like set a timer. Did you know that we were doing that? Please don't tell me. That. Okay, anyways, so. What are you doing now? I'm just putting your mascara on. Okay. And I smudge, so I'm just getting it off. Okay. Oh, by the way, that mascara is $4.99 on Amazon. $4.99 on Amazon, should we add it in? We should add it in, it's a winner. Anyways, the story goes. I can't believe you just put a little bit of. It looks fantastic. Do you want to see the video? No, no, oh. no, no, no. All right, everybody, okay. jump. It's so. way more fun. Okay. Wow. Anyways, I'm gonna take your rollers here? out now. Um, okay. So, anyways, Marty. What? You want to take the the not side? yet, Mom. Don't rush me. Well, oh. she had a whole way of doing it. She was telling us. Oh, I'm not following that. Oh. So, anyways, Marty sleeps over to say in the family room, and. He comes into the kitchen. In the, in the morning. I'm 18. I'm 18. You're what? 20? Yeah, but in the morning, and there's nobody else up. Your dad was uh, just in the My bed. dad and my mom were both. No, your mom wasn't there. It was just your dad. Yeah. I Marty wasn't. strolls into the kitchen. Now I'm sitting there eating my breakfast. You're not there. You're not it's there. just your yes, dad. Yes, I was. No. I was. Right. The, well, it doesn't right, well, matter. Whatever. Fine. I wasn't there. Fine. You're right. Anyways. My clip in my hair. Anyways, Marty strolls into the kitchen in his underpants. In my box of shorts. <laughs> he did. And my dad was like, what did he say, Mark? He said, um, I would go on and put some coals, please. <laughs> now, I probably was like, look at him, look at him, woohoo! But, it's like a bathing suit. Uh, well, okay, well, should Grace's boyfriend do that? I don't know. But well, that's not what I'm saying, but oh, it's the, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking I'm, about. My lipstick. I don't know. Like right now I got to help you with your hair because it's looking pretty freaking crazy. Long. Like there's something happening. In <laughs> sort of like a bun. <laughs> you have a, I don't know. What's going on? Let her just do Oh, God. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what about me? Oh, 
gorgeous. I got gorgeous. Weird. Okay, what color? All right, I'm gonna use Twilight. Okay. I'm glad you don't have a. I'm usually not up Twilight. <laughs> but I'm usually upstairs in my bed. You would you? like the whole Twilight series, like with the vampires? No, Ooh, Edward and Jacob. Yes. Edward and Jacob, mom. Good would team love Edward. It. It's like team all sexual. Jacob. Oh yes. Yeah. It's just what I need. It's just what I need. Is that what you're going to say? She used to watch Vampire Diaries. Do you remember when I was pregnant and you told me that I should put on lipstick for Marty? She's like, you look very tired. You should probably put on lipstick. And I meant it. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, I don't give a shit what Marty was. <gasps> Stop saying big words. Wow. That yeah. definitely was not good thing. Well, anymore. I'm the one who's divorced and you're the one who's married. So I feel like maybe I should have listened. Mm. <laughs> Just kidding. Do you put on lipstick for Poppy every day? Ask Poppy. I don't want Ew. to. <laughs> That's sweet. I say no. good morning, Raj. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> They would lock their bedroom door on New Year's Eve every single day. Oh time. my god! No, we ate cookies. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> we, we ate cookies up there. We had we had a, not eat cookies. Yes, we did. We 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 had had not, we're not up there eating cookies, cookies, Maria. Poppy had cookies up there. He said, let's uh, not tell the children we have these cookies. Uh, is that what he called them? <laughs> <laughs> specialty cookies. <laughs> if we would leave them in the kitchen, all the kids You're would eat them. Worse, actually, oh. with your specialty cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's put gloss on. Oh my. Why? Okay, it's fine. Do you wear gloss? <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes. I don't know. It depends. I'm still getting over your bangs, so just be quiet and let's put some gloss on. <laughs> my bangs uh, haven't settled. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Still something to look at. So, there. Grandma, where are you going after this? She's going to bed. Nine, where everybody's at. Like, everybody's waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to just try to help you. Do oh you need God. water? No, I do not need water. All right. Now, you look glowy. There you go. Shop beauty counter. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to say. Look I'm going to tell you something. What? I love... Those certain products. I love that lipstick on you. I do too. I think that's a Wait, you don't even know it. Because I can see. Well, you. let's look in the mirror really. Okay. Now let's really. Should we have someone filming this? Yeah. yeah. Let's a, let's over uh, analysis her please, uh, reaction. Please, okay. people say nice things. Okay? Oh, yeah. Nobody's on here that's going to say nasty things. I need a phone. Things. Okay. We block those people. Okay. okay. I got to go like this because my phone is broken. Okay. You ready? What's happening? Now, you better act if you don't like it. Okay. Okay. Get that acting in. Look. Yes, I do like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. We just what spent an hour and a half doing it. Mama, well, hair is a little fluffy. It is a little fluffy. But it'll come down. It'll come down. I just, I only hairspray on this side. Why? Because I don't like sticky hair. I don't either. I like you that. You only spray your, one side of your hair? That's right. And it, no. when you're older, um, hairspray dries your hair, no matter what you use. And I feel the poppy. Let's see Poppy's reaction. And I don't like. I got it. I don't like dry looking hair. Right, okay, it looks like. Oh, we have. She looks so beautiful. She is so beautiful. Thank you. We have Maria. You look beautiful. You may get special cookies when you get home. That comes from <laughs> Janice. <laughs> Poppy does not want to participate on the live. He would not, not like to be seen on the live. He doesn't have to be seen. He needs to give a reaction. Tell him he has to. I did. 
He Marty doesn't want him. He doesn't want I'll go tell him I'm his favorite. Ashley will do it. Ashley is his favorite. Just watch Whatever. those wires. Okay, okay listen. Come. When it's so the it. thing is this. I'm going to tell you why I like Beauty Counter. I know we were having fun and being silly, but I'm going to tell you really why the reason is. I am vain enough to say I like high-performing products. I don't want stuff that's not going to work. That's right. I, I just don't. I don't want to spend my money. I work really hard. I don't want to spend my money on stuff that's not going to make me look better or make a difference. I like instant gratification with my skincare. I'm not going to lie. I just found $20. Okay. You paid him $20? <laughs> no, Mom. Okay. The thing is this. Oh, Pop, what do you think? We have a reaction. You don't have to be on camera. We want no. to know what you think of Maria. I think she looks uh, probably about 20 years younger right oh there. Oh, my! Gosh. Puppy, can I ask you one other question? Oh, my God. I'm scared. Of this. Is this going to be a story? Puppy! He knows what this is about. I, oh, I'm sure he does, Mom. <laughs> Poppy. Yeah, you're in. <laughs> Poppy. Put this right over here. Um, I would like to know. So, after 55 years of marriage. 52. But we've been together six years before that. I mean, it's so much math, but like forever, basically. The thing is that I'm asking is this. What were grandma referred to special cookies that were received on New Year's Eve? No, I said we had a stash of cookies in our bedroom. Poppy brought them home. Didn't because that's why your bedroom door was locked every New Year's. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, we did have to bring these special cookies Jesus. upstairs because otherwise you guys would have got them. And we wouldn't have got a cookie. And we wouldn't have got any. Not a one. I feel like you're talking dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. I feel sweaty. Uh -huh. I don't want to even talk about it anymore. Let's talk about beauty counter. Uh -huh. Why do you love it? Um, I just can't. Grandma Celine says, beautiful, may I have an appointment? Yes, you may, Grandma Celine. Okay, yeah, let's look at border, honey. I'm going to tell you guys, truly, truly, I have enough going on in my life. I do not need one more thing. I did not need to add beauty counter into my life, but then I'm going to tell you what. I joined for the discount because my sister-in-law, Marty's brother's wife, Anne-Marie, Anne -Marie also, was selling beauty counter, and I wanted to support her, so I... I joined as a consultant thinking, eh, I'll support her, I'll get the discount. I'm going to tell you why. And this is now, I know we've had so much fun, but truly, 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 after now being at 41 and seeing multiple beautiful, amazing women battle all kinds of cancer and infertility and all of these things. It is now more important than ever, and this is what I want to share. Check what's in your products. Spend the time and check what's in your products. It doesn't have to be beauty counter. I don't care if you buy a lip gloss from me. It's not about that. Check what's in your products. Download the EWG app, the Environmental Working Group app. It's incredibly important. Scan the barcode of your products and let them tell you what's in there. Because I sure as hell did not. And I was telling my girls to put deodorant on that was incredibly toxic. I had no idea. I thought I was doing the right thing. I was saying, here, put sunscreen on. Here, put your deodorant on. Unbelievable what is in. The laws haven't changed since 1938 of what is allowed in our skincare and our makeup, leads alone in our lipstick. Mm -hmm. It's insanity. And we both feel the same way about it's it. True. We have girls in our family and it to me that is why i got involved in beauty count yes it's fun it's fun to play makeup it's fun to have girl time of course it is i love that but more so i give a shit about what is happening with my girl's health i want to know that i have done everything i can to educate them on how to battle infertility how to battle cancer how to battle um hormone disruption, all of those things that I've had to battle. And I don't want them to have to battle any of those things. So to me, check what's in your products. Spend that extra five minutes when you're walking through Target and know what's going on and what's going on on the biggest organ of your body and, and do that. When I found out about that, I was like, I love you. I don't want you to put anything on your body that's toxic. 
I love my girls. I love my sisters. I love my, my friends. I don't want you guys to have anything toxic on your bodies that you matter to me. It bothered me. Um, so that's why I joined. And now it's become incredibly inspiring for me because I get to mentor. I have about 50 women that I mentor and that's awesome. But truly the biggest thing is, is word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And I, and we have talked about a lot. We care about so many women that have gone through all of those things way too early in their lives, cancer and, um, dealing with breast cancer or different things that we, people we love. And that is why. So yes, we're having to kill our shots. Yes, we're having fun, of course. But really the big thing is just check what's in your products. Be knowledgeable, you're educated, be smart, know what you're putting near your breasts as you're putting your deodorant on. Know what you're washing, brushing your teeth with. What are you washing your hands with? Be educated. And that's really the biggest thing. So, Absolutely. so anyways, I am so grateful for your time. I know we always have fun. Thank you. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. And I am so glad Thank that we get to spend, you. spend so much time. I know not everybody who's 73. Not yet. 72 and a quarter. 72 and a quarter. Not everybody looks like that, but she looks pretty damn good. And, and also... I know she loves the products. I know that she has fun with us. And I know she loves to educate all of those granddaughters of hers on how to be safer. So thank you so much, you guys. I hope you had a good night and happy Memorial Day. One more tequila shot for the road. One more tequila shot for the road, Maria. I'll try. <laughs> Twist Drink down. all of it. Ooh, here she goes. Holy mother. I did it. Poppy, <laughs> you're going to be having some cookies. Bye-bye. <laughs> Love you. Good job.